Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. I have a small collective haul to share with you. A little bit is crafty, a little bit is not. Um, some of y'all, well, my husband is definitely Scottish and we enjoy going to the Scottish festivals here in the area. And one we normally go to is in Salado, which is a few hours technically north of us so that's what we did today so I'm going to share a few crafty things and then I'm going to share you share some items that I picked up at the festival today anywho if you are new to my channel welcome I hope you stick around a spell if you like what you see please hit that subscribe button ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos thumbs up likes always appreciated and any questions or comments please leave them down below so, I guess we're going to start with the crafty things. Um, this one, I have been... No, I'll share that in a minute. This is what I ordered from the last uh, Stampin' Up! thing I went to. <laughs> It was, well, actually, I didn't go because I was on the cruise ship. It was happening while I was on the cruise. But um, basically, I ordered the Delicate Bobbles. Basically, they're ornament dies. And so you have your main, go away, your main uh, background die here. And then it has different decorative pieces. So this one, I believe, says Merry and Bright. This says Joy. Then we have a Christmas tree, a snowflake. We also have little uh, decorative bits here and um, a string to hang, you know, a mock string to hang them from. So that is what I got from that particular um, thing. <laughs> Sorry. So I got that. Then this... I saw this online and I, what I saw, I thought that I had ordered the die and stamp set. I did not. Um, I have actually had this for about two months. Um, I was kind of upset because when it got here, it was just the die. I mean, I can still do a lot with the die, but I thought I had ordered the stamp set to go with it. I'm just weird that way. Um, if there's a stamp and die, I always want them both. Well, I finally found the die set to go with it. And um, it's, you know, I can use this in many different ways. But um, I really, this is what I really wanted was the stamp set. But um, I just got this and so that's why I'm showing. So obviously what's pictured here is smaller than the actual... Um, than what they actually are. So there's that. And then, I guess we should actually make sure, right? Yeah, so they just have the stuff kind of layered, which is kind of weird. Oh, they bent it. Interesting, interesting, look at that. They sure did. So anywho, I got that, I got the stamp set. I think this I may attempt to play with um, <clears throat> next weekend when I'm at home recuperating. Remember, I'm having my knee surgery this coming Wednesday. Um, I have pre-op on Tuesday. Wednesday, I have the uh, you know meeting with anesthesia and then surgery on Thursday so yeah I'm hoping I plan on going back to work on Monday so I hope I'm okay it's it's an arthroscopic so it's not like they're laying my knee open it's the knee's already blessed I already have four holes well they're just going to put a couple more holes in my knee so I guess it'll just be extra blessed you know holy haha -ha. um so Maybe I'll try and work on this next weekend, do some coloring, 
And um, yeah, so I'll have to share with you whenever I figure out what I'm gonna do. Now, more crafty. Some of y'all know. So I ordered these, I think this one was Etsy. Uh, no, I think these were both Am um, eBay. Anywho, y'all know you should recognize the blocks. Um, house mouse. I have three new additions, addition, additions to my house mouse. And um, this is one I have wanted for quite some time. Now, I do have it in like the small cling, you know, the cling mount ones. This is one I've wanted in the Stamparosa block for a long time and it absolutely cracks me up because you know they nibbled into the coffee bag and they are now just full of energy and caffeine the eyes are like wide open and dilated is absolutely hilarious um and it's never been used so i need to um what i want to do is create a binder with all my images of the ones that I have on block. And then I'm gonna do a separate one for all the ones that I have that are on cling mount. Now, I know it sounds kind of stupid and probably like some people might think wasteful, but um, my Stamper Rosa ones, these, I really don't wanna use them. Uh, to me, these are collection pieces and memory. I'll let some of y'all know I'm not gonna get into it. But, um, I want my cling mounts to be the ones that I use and abuse, and I want these to be the ones that I can, you know, create a display and just adore. So anyway, so that's one. Then this one, I, this is so sweet. Uh, this one's called Weighing Baby. Oh, I'm sorry. And this is called Java Jumpers, which is appropriate, right? This is Weighing Baby, and it's absolutely funny because uh, I want to say it's, this is probably Monica. This is, I'm not sure. I think this is Amanda or Mud Pie. One of them is. But like they're trying to look at the chart, but he's just jumping and the scale is bouncing back and forth. I don't know if you could, the images are very detailed. So sometimes it doesn't always pick up, but you can see how it looks like the needle is bouncing around. I just think it, it is so sweet. Anyway, so there's that. And the last one that I got. This is one I've been eyeing for a while. And I debated. And um, this one is called... Oh. It actually... I'm shocked. It does not have a name. But I call this one the lightsaber ones. They've got the little, um, you know, candies hanging from the tree. And, like, baby Monica's trying to jump up there to get that. She's getting the cherry. And then the other two. Oh, look. Yep, that's Monica. And then Amanda. Look, they're named. They're, they're, they got name tags on them. Amanda's getting the lemon. Monica's getting the cherry. And Maxwell is getting the grape. So... All I know is it's 1997 and it's marked 64. So I, I, I don't know. I know, like, if you look at a lot of them, they're numbered. So this is 97. This is 98. This one's also, whoops, 1997. So those are my newest house mouse. So that is it for crafty. But told you I went my hubby and I went yes he wore the kilt his sporin um yeah he's so handsome in his kilt I absolutely love it uh anywho um I I uh, have a lot of hair <laughs> um most people who catch the random cameos I always have it up and I put all my hair up with hair sticks. Just one. Um, I love these things. Um, I have worn them in my hair, oh gosh, for probably 20 years. I wish I'd known long before then. 
but um, hair sticks are very hard to find. You can usually find them like if you go, I don't want to say Asian sites. You find most of them like in Asian uh, shops or something like that. But this particular company, well, except for this, everything in here is from the same company. And they specialize in Celtic and Gaelic uh, um, designs. Um, I So my husband is Scottish. I am technically Irish, but I'm also Scottish. Um, part of my family, very small bit is Scottish, but the bulk of my, on my dad's side is Irish English. And... Um, Anywho, I was really excited to find all this because, and I, I went Scottish because you know, of the hubby. I got to represent. And um, his colors are a red and a green primarily. And so I got, so I got this one because this is just like, I don't want to say like a pewter color, platinum color maybe. And then I got one in the red and the green, I guess technically Christmas. If I wanted, I could wear these at the same time, but I always just use one to put my hair up. Um, really pretty. Anyway, this company, I've never heard of them before, but they're called Lilla Rose. And um, I got some of these pieces I'm going to show you in a bit. I have to go check them out some more because they even show you how to put everything up. There's videos. So I am really excited about that um, because they're beautiful. I, um, my husband's um, coat of arms is mainly a stag. And so ba the bulk of the pieces I got are stags. I do um, have a Celtic not, some people call it a tramp stamp. I'm not calling it that because mine, I researched for, mine's coming up on 20 years old. Wow, that's old. Um, I researched it for many years before I actually got it and it actually has a meaning. <laughs> There's meaning to mine. I didn't just pick out a butterfly or any of that, that stuff, but I have a beautiful long tattoo that is on my lower back and it's a Celtic knot. It's the Trinity knot, which is right there in the middle. And, um, so I got that and then it's surrounded by, um, Ivy and it was designed by a very famous, uh, tattooist in California, Pat Fish. I don't know if you're familiar with her. She has gorgeous work and, um, I got that and anyway, the Ivy stands for fertility and, um, uh, the, this particular knot that I had done was for fidelity and it was a little sarcasm as in, I am a very, um, I don't believe in infidelity basically. And my, my ex was very, <laughs> lots of infidelity going on there. Anyway. That's neither here nor there, and that path brought me to um, my amazing hubby now, but I thought this was gorgeous, and so I got this piece, and it flexes a lot, which is really awesome, and that's what I thought was really cool about this, but you um, follow the different styles here, and it shows you how to clip your hair up, so I got this, I think this is large, I think this is a large and yeah these must be the large because i think there's also one that's an extra large but i got the stag because of the hubby so i can wear this next year and then i got a smaller one um this kind of this one will allow me to i believe for the most part get my hair up into a cute ponytail low ponytail in the back and then i've got this one here this is the small because I wanted it to be able to, um, you can wear as a brat or, you know, pull my hair from the front back and wear it to the back. Anywho, so I got two stag. Um, I 
think this is like I said, I, this is either this is a large because there's an extra large that that um, I didn't get. These are pricey. So this one, um, I'll tell you. So each of these were 10. These were 10 a piece. Um, this one was 22. This was 20. This was 20. And this here was 14. And this, they what do they call it? They call it a... They just call it the Swerve. And it works a lot like the hair sticks or the hair pins, I call them. And um, it's really weird. You bring, you bring it down your back, all right? Then you turn it up and then run it through and it just holds your... It, it, these are so fun. The only reason why I got this is because it works a lot like these and I'm very familiar with these. So um, I'm hoping to wear my hair up with this. I'm going to try it tomorrow, I think. So very excited about these and I'm going to go on their website and probably find me some more because I'm, I have lots of hair and I always have a hard time holding my hair up. So, and they even have like Southwestern styles. Um, obviously the, the lady who set up her booth at this um, event brought in lots of Celtic and Gaelic pieces. She did have a, did have a couple of like Southwestern pieces because you know we are here in Texas. Um, but uh, I am so excited about these. It is not even funny. And I can't tell you, they, they feel the quality is just amazing and they are just absolutely gorgeous. And, and I don't know if you can see this. This is all one piece. This is not coming off of this. So when it goes on, you put it on and then you, uh, it, 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 it kind of feels a lot like when you're using these guys. Um, but this gets bent and then this comes through and I mean, you can get a, like, look at that, a hefty ponytail or, you know, whatever you've got going on, a bun in the back, but I'm excited about these. I'm going to put the link down below to the lady that helped me today. She was really nice. Um, it's the first time I've ever seen this company before, but I might be becoming hooked on them. I'm telling you, the quality of these things that I, and we just, you know, a lot of y'all know, you get hair stuff and it just breaks. This stuff's not breaking. They make it with um, musical strings, I believe is what she said. You know, strings for like guitars that are like, so it's like almost impossible to break. And all the pieces are metal. It's not plastic. And so... Yeah, really excited about these. So, anywho, again, it's called Lilla Rose. I'll put the link down below. And, um, oh, I've got just my information just sitting out there, don't I? Oh, snap, I'm not done yet. I gotta show you these goodies over here. So then I also got, because I was trying to find sterling, um, a few sterling pieces I found. I, I didn't like the style, so I didn't get them. I pretty much only wear gold and sterling, but I really like these pieces. So here's a nice little brooch pen with the Scottish th thistle. A lot of y'all know I adore the thistle. Um, so I got that. And then there was this necklace. And I think this I will probably only save to wear like for Scottish events just because it is not sterling and um, I got that and then I got this necklace really really pretty very heavy like I said though it's not sterling so I don't see myself it's not a daily thing and um, while all this feels great I'm concerned about that so this isn't going to get worn a lot um, I am stalking a site called the Celtic Jackalope. 
Uh, we got some Crawford match. We got matching Crawford clan um, t-shirts for us to wear next year. And um, I'm looking for some sterling pieces that I want to wear with it next year. But definitely wearing these because, like I said, the part of his family um, coat of arms is <clears throat> a stag. Anywho, I have run my mouth enough. Um, any questions or comments, leave them down below. Like I said, this was a... What do you call it? An eclectic... <laughs> Definitely an eclectic video. Uh, a little bit of craft. Jewelry is craft, technically. Somebody had to make these. But uh, anywho, um, I hope you guys have a great night. I'm going to try and be back tomorrow and, and play with the um, tonic mousses with y'all. Uh, but I don't know what time. Can't promise you. With that... Love you guys to pieces. As always, happy crafting. Bye-bye.